our video tutorial on scatter plots in R. Part 2, Adding Lines. This is part of Statistics 321 at Virginia Commonwealth University, but anybody can use it. All right, so we're going to pick up right where we left off. We're going to read in the Sydney Hobart data, and we're going to plot it just like last time. So the code is going to be identical to last time, and we're going to run it real quick, get the picture out so we can see where we're at. So this is the picture we had last time. Now, what we'd like to do is connect the dots here because these points exist in time one after the other. So there's a nice ordering and there's only one measurement per time. So let's connect the dots here. So we'll actually add some other comments as well because we need to learn some new tricks here. So what we're going to do is do type equals, and I'm going to do L. That's an L, not a one, inside of quotes. And I'm actually going to put here, this means make the type of the plot a line plot. Okay, and then we can run this and see what it does. And when we zoom into it, you can see now it connected the dots and there are no more points on the dots. That one we'll get into a uh, different video. But this one, now you can see that the pattern a little clearer. It looks like it's coming down faster here than it is here. It almost looks like it's leveled off or is starting to level off. Okay, so the next thing we might want to do is play around with the type of line that we have. So I'm going to put a comma here and well, let's play with the line type, LTY. So it's currently line type 1. So if we run this again, we'll get exactly the same picture. And if you see, we get the exact same picture. What happens if we make it line type 2? Then when we run it, we get a slightly different picture. Now we have a dashed line instead of a solid line. And we can go to 3 if we wanted to, and we can see what that produces. So this produces a dotted line through our points. But we're going to go back to 1 for this case. The other thing we can do is change the line width, LWD. So we'll put some comments in on this. So let's make it 2 and see what happens. So if I run all of this, notice what happens to the picture. The line is now wider than it was before, and the back to the solid line that we had before. Okay, so let's add our little comments in here so that we can remember what each one of these items does, because this will be something we'll use over and over again. So this is the line type, and this one is the line width. Okay, so the other thing we might want to do with this is actually add a line of best fit, like a regression line, a least squares regression line. And we can do this pretty easy inside of R. So what we're going to do is we're going to add an additional statement outside of the plot statement. And this is going to be AB line. And AB is like the slope and the intercept. So AX plus B is how they thought about this. Now what we're going to do is we're going to fit a line of best fit and we're going to use the LM function for this. And we'll have a whole video on the LM function later. But right now let's just roll with this. So we're going to do race one, which is our data set. Here we're going to put our Y value, which is actually the time that we were interested in. And we're going to then put a tilde, or the twiddle. And we'll do race one and put in the x variable we're interested in, which is year. And then if I run this across all of it, we'll see what we get. And sure enough, we get a line that cuts right down through the data. This is the least squares regression line, also known as the line of best fit. What we're going to do now is play with some of the options on it because these options also work here. So we can actually do LTY if we want to change it. And I actually liked uh, the type 3 line, little dotted line. We can add some color if we want so we can make it red. And we can change its width if we want, LWD. What happens if we change it to something that's not a whole number? See what happens. Uh, so let's give this a run. So it should change lots of things here and run this 
and zoom in and you can barely see I made the width a half and you can barely see the dotted line down through there. So maybe we want to crank it up. Maybe we don't want it all the way to 2. Maybe we're going to go to 1.5. All of these are options. Just remember that AB line lays over the previous plot. So it doesn't create a plot on its own. So you need to run the plot again in order to line, lay the line over it. Okay, so when I look at this, now I have a little bit thicker of a dashed line through there, or dotted line, with our thick connected dots. All right, so this is the video so far. We're going to move on to the next one where we're going to learn how to do even more things with plots.